Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about some snowfall that's going to be affecting the area of New England. This is kind of going to be associated with that video that I was talking about with the New Eng or the, the Great Lakes and the North Central United States. It's kind of associated with that system, actually. Uh, it's, it's just kind of south of it. Now, we're going to be looking at our Futurecast radar here. Uh, this is the HRDPS model, and this is the high-resolution Canadian model, and I really like this model. I use it a lot. Now, we're going to get right into things here, looking at the radar. We're looking at, this is one hour from now, apparently, from when the model run was, or actually six hours in. Uh, but this is going to be right around 9 p.m. tonight, and you're going to see there is some snow, uh, light snow, starting for the Adirondack Mountains there for some of the southern Green Mountains there and into northwestern Massachusetts. So it's starting out with some snow, but really raining aloft there for the entire area. As we advance to about 1 a.m. here, you can see the snow is really starting for the White Mountains in northern Vermont here at this point. Uh, we're getting some of those pinks and greens even for the Adirondacks. I really think they're going to get more snow than this model is showing. With the high elevation, they usually really overperform with storms like this. So I'm expecting at least three inches for those peaks there in the Adirondack Mountains. Uh, so we have our snow here in New England. And as we move on to maybe, I think we've gone ahead and moved on two hours. So this is about 3 a.m. Uh, so the really the White Mountains in the, in the lakes region of New Hampshire there, uh, northeastward, you can see there's some very heavy snow going on for those areas into Maine as well as northern Vermont and New northern New Hampshire getting in a lot of that. And most areas turn over this pink color as we move on to, this is probably about 7 a.m. Uh, and we're getting some sleet and maybe some freezing rain mixing in at this point. And it's because that low pressure system is more inland and this tends to happen. So this is what's going to make this an interesting system to try to forecast and likely going to be hard to get it even accurate. Uh, but we're going to obviously give you our best forecast possible. Uh, but this is a very tough system to forecast with those pinks going on. And as we move on to 8 a.m., you can see that heaviest snow is still lingering there for the northern portions of Maine and even coastal Maine getting in on some of that. But really, we've changed over to rain and likely no precipitation for a lot of the areas there in the more southern New England areas. And we're going to move on again to about 1 p.m. on the 1st of 2019. And we have some light snow still lingering there for northern Maine, but we're kind of wrapping things up as we move on one more hour. And this is kind of the evening hours of tomorrow and pretty much everything's out of the picture. So here's your model projection snowfall here for this snowstorm. I think it's overdoing it in a lot of areas, kind of the coastal regions there of Maine. Uh, this, this model doesn't really pick up or account for sleet or mixing in. Uh, or melting after the fact after snowfalls so I think that it's overdoing a lot of that and also some of the areas in the north uh, where we will switch over to sleet it is also overdoing it a little bit so here's my official snowfall forecast you can see in that white section you're at a dusting to three inches if you're in that section if you're in the light blue section you're at three to six inches of snow and if you're in that darkest shade of blue here on the map you're at six to ten inches of snow for so for northern New Hampshire and for northern Maine, you're looking at 6 to 10 inches of snow, likely on the lower end of that. Anyway, guys, have a great day.